Hey everybody, Rich Noto here, Florida licensed realtor, Florida licensed home inspector in Notary Public. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can catch more videos like this as I do post them. And thanks for watching, I do appreciate you stopping by. I want to talk to you about a common misconception that I encounter kind of often. And the misconception is that the potential home buyer thinks that on the day that they get the pre-approval for a mortgage, that that is the interest rate that they are locked into, okay? Now, unless there's some kind of a freak, strange, special going on at some type of a mortgage company, then typically that's not the rate that you're going to get because the mortgage rates can change any day, okay? They can fluctuate, they can go up a little, they can go down, they could jump, whatever it is, mortgage rates are always changing. So that's really the first thing to consider. The second thing to consider is, if you're having a home built, the time that it takes to build a home, if it's four months or five months or eight months or, or a year, whatever it might be, or maybe it's a year and a half because you're on a wait list and then by the time they build it, whatever it is, that interest rate is going to vary. The other thing that I wanna point out, which is also part of you know the common misconception, is that if the buyer gets the approval, let's say today, they're stuck with the total amount for the loan and they're stuck with the interest rate. So that's not exactly true either because typically when you go and apply for a mortgage, when the mortgage comes back to you, they'll say to you, well, we found that your credit score, let's say it's a 650, is a 650. If you want to get a better interest rate, if you want to do better over the next few months, then you know do this. They might suggest to pay off a credit card or they might suggest to wait until a car loan is completed, whatever it is. Anyway, don't make any changes based on this video. Contact the mortgage um, professional, get approved first. So again, I, I'm going to say this again, don't make any changes based on this video. All right? Get the facts from the mortgage professional, let them tell you what they found, and then follow that guidance. And of course, you can always contact me as well along with the mortgage professional so I could offer my opinion as to what you know, I feel is um, you know, kind of true or not, because sometimes some of these approvals aren't so good where I'll say, you know what, get a second, we'll get a third opinion on it. So when that mortgage company offers the advice and they say to do certain things, Many times, the amount that you can qualify for will go up, and the interest rate that you would have been charged will go down. So let's just say, for example, if on the day when you get approved, maybe you were approved at, let's say, 3%, but then by doing a few things over the course of the next two months or three months or six months, whatever it is, you know, you might then end up with a 2.5% loan. Of course, it's gonna depend on the rates going up and down with the market as well, but the point is, is that the rate that you start off with when you get the approval is not the rate that you're going to close with. It's, just, it's not going to be the same. So if you are interested in a home, and let's say your time frame is seven months out or your time frame is a year out, well, getting that approval is going to offer you the guidance and of course, you know, the realtor that you're working with, hopefully it's me, <laughs> you know, hopefully, you know, then we could find you a good home and it'll be a much more calm process than kind of being so in a, in a time frame. A lot of times buyers think that what they're going to do is they're going to sit back and wait. Well, I'm going to wait another three months because I know my credit score will be better. Or I'm going to wait another six months because I'll have a better credit score. I'll get a cheaper rate and this and that. Again, you know, it's, it's, it's all based on time frame. So time is really important with that. To not get approved today for a home that you need seven months or a year out, that's pretty much a big mistake because today is the day that you can start to make repairs, you know, fix issues, and whatever the mortgage company says that you need to do to you know, purchase that home and get, of course, a better rate or to be able to, you know, spend more money on a home. So just, you know, keep all that in mind. And I do appreciate you watching. Have a great day.